Come to stand at the top of your mat. And feel the weight shift from one foot into the other. Relax your shoulders and breathe gently in and out through the nose. During the transformative fall season, it can be a challenge to find ease and balance. May this practice warm our bodies, settle our thoughts, and infuse our awareness with pure bliss, ease, and balance. Place your hands together at the center of your chest and take a moment to turn your attention inwards. What qualities would you like to feel in your body and your mind during this practice? We coordinate our breath and our movement to bring life to those qualities. Relax your arms by your sides. Take a breath and shift your weight into your left foot. We balance the weight there. Bend both knees so your right knee comes out to a 90 degree angle. Hinge forwards on your left hip and step your right foot all the way to the back of your mat, landing your hands on the inside of your left foot. Step your right hand wider than your shoulder. We bend both elbows, sort of a push-up position, looking towards your front knee. Press back up and step the right hand in under your shoulder, spiraling the left arm up towards the ceiling. Your left hand comes back down to the ground on the outside of your left foot. We windmill the right arm up and around all the way to meet the other foot. Landing in a lunge, sending the arms towards the sky into a crescent lunge. Elbows bend to the sides. Hands come back down to the ground. Swing your right leg high into the air and open through that right hip. Draw the body forwards towards a plank and pull the knee towards your belly as you spiral your leg out underneath of you and put weight in both feet, reaching back with your left arm. Same movement again. Lift your right leg high, open bend and stretch. And then come forwards. Thread that leg under you, reach back with your left arm. Again, plant both hands one more time. Reach your leg high, open bend and stretch through the hip. Back through, threading the right leg underneath. Stand weight strong in both legs. Reach as far as you can. Plant your hands, lift that leg one last time and step the right foot between your hands. Draw the arms back by your sides and shift into a toppling tree or making the shape of a capital T with your body. Spread all 10 toes, rise up to that same position we started in, balancing on the right foot this time, folding your wings by your side, your arms by your sides, and just let them dangle like heavy ropes as you swing one direction and then the other. Balance again on the right foot, bend both knees, hinge forwards on the right hip and step back, hands again to the inside of your front foot. Step wide with your left hand, bend both elbows. Press back up and step the left hand in, right arm swivels up, belly towards your front thigh. Take another breath here. Allow the right hand to come to the ground on the outside of your right foot. We drop our back heel down flat and windmill the arms around, landing in that lunge position. Your back heel lifts, your arms reach up, crescent lunge, elbows bending out to the sides. Hands to the ground, swing your left leg high, open bend and stretch so the left hip rolls up on top of the right. And then we balance at the hips and we thread the left leg underneath the body, stand weight in both legs, reach back. Again, left leg reaches high, open bend and stretch. Come forwards, pull the knee towards the belly and thread it underneath of you, standing in both feet, reaching back. Do that one more time, plant both hands, spread your fingers wide, reach up with the leg. Come forwards, pull the knee in, thread it under you, reach up, stretch back. And again, plant both hands. One more time, lift that leg, stretch it high as you can. Step forwards between your hands, arms back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together behind you and lift. Lift high with that back leg, lift the chest forwards. Breathe, pull the belly in towards your spine for stability. Bend your left knee, come back to the same position we started in and plant both feet. Swivel side to side. Releasing any strain from your backside. And we'll go through that again. Shift the weight to your left foot. Bend your right knee. Think karate kid with this movement. Both knees bend, arms out to the side. Big step back as your hands land to the inside of your front foot. Step wide with your right hand and bend both elbows, right ear towards the ground. Right hand steps in underneath your shoulder, left arm swivels up. And as soon as that left hand touches down, we plant our right heel, we swivel the arms around to meet that right foot. And we end up in a lunge. 
taking it into a crescent lunge by lifting the arms and the chest, bending the elbows out to the sides. Hands plant, swing your right leg high into the air, open, bend, and stretch. As you come forward and thread your right leg under again, this time you might want to try an extra challenge of keeping that leg lifted off the ground. That works your core a little bit more, strengthening your body from the inside out. Or if that feels more challenging than what you're ready for, just plant your foot so that the weight is evenly distributed between both feet like we did in the first, in the first set of this. Step your right foot back between your hands into a lunge. Stay high on those back toes. Reach the arms back by your sides and shift the weight into your right foot. All ten toes spread. Draw the breastbone forwards and the shoulders back. Rise up. Nice and tall. And we'll step right back into a lunge. Hands plant. Left hand steps wide. We look towards our front knee and we bend the elbows. Left hand steps right underneath the shoulder and right arm swivels up. Big stretch back. Right hand comes down, and as soon as it lands, we windmill up and over. Hands come down to the ground, and we lift into crescent lunge. Notice that your back heel is lifted off the mat here. Hips and shoulders are square to the top of your mat. Plant your hands. Sweep that left leg high into the air. We find that open bend and stretch position. Draw the knee in towards the belly and thread the leg underneath. And again, you have that same option here to thread the leg under the belly and let the weight come equal into both feet, or you have the option to challenge yourself a little more and keep that leg lifted strong through your, through your deep core muscles. Last time, breathing in and breathing out as you extend that leg and lift. Big breath in, plant both hands, stretch your leg up high one more time. And bring your hips back to square and step your left foot between your hands. Stay high on your back toes, arms reach back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together gently as you float the body into that capital T shape. Rise up, karate kid stance, both knees bend. We hinge forwards and plant the hands. One more time, we'll cycle through this. Bend both elbows, right ear towards the ground. Right hand steps under your shoulder, left arm up and back. Left hand down, windmill up and over, land your hands, find that lunge position, and reach up tall, bend the elbows out to the sides. Inhale, arms up, plant the foot, exhale, swing that right leg up. Big breath in as you come forwards, exhale, thread the right leg through. Inhale up, and exhale, arms back by your sides. Take a breath and come to float, come to hover. Toppling tree. Bend both knees, karate kid hover, step back, big step out with that left hand, bend your elbows left ear towards the ground. Step your right, your left hand in and your right arm swivels up belly towards your front thigh. As soon as that right hand comes back down, leading with your left arm, windmill around to the other side of the world so that you're back into a lunge position, we rise to crescent, inhale as you come up, exhale, bend the elbows out to the sides. Inhale, hands plant. Exhale, swing that leg up and back. Take a breath in and exhale, thread the leg underneath. Again, inhale, leg up and exhale, step to the top of your mat. Heading back towards that toppling tree position one last time. Go ahead and bend both knees, rising up, arms out to the sides, fold your wings. Allow your arms to dangle by your sides and balance the weight to one side and then the other, swiveling the arms one direction and the other. And step the feet apart wider than our hips with your toes angled out away from one another. Bend your knees so they track out towards your toes. Take a breath in, sweep the arms up overhead and draw your hands through to heart center, drawing your focus inwards. Inhale again, arms up, and this time bend the elbows out to the sides, cactus arms, elbows bent at 90 degrees, and knees bent at 90 degrees. Wiggle your toes a little bit here, let the weight shift back into your heels. Use the buttocks and the outer thigh muscles to pull those knees open. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, push one arm out across in front of you and reach in that direction. Inhale, pull the energy back, and exhale, press to the other side. Inhale, back to center. 
and exhale, reach. Notice your hips are swiveling here as we reach in one direction, the opposite leg pivots and swivels. The heel lifts up and we twist at the belly and at the hips. Move with your breath, breathing in for power at the center, and breathe out to twist, to press. Inhale, gather, and exhale, press. Inhale, gather, and exhale, press. One more time. Come back to center and sweep the arms up overhead, elbows out to the sides, cactus arms. 90 degree bend in the knees and the elbows. Steady breath in through the nose, and out through the nose. Go ahead and lengthen your legs, pivot your toes in so that your feet are parallel. Roll your shoulders back and interlace your fingers behind your back. Take a little bend in your knees and let the belly come down between your thighs. And roll your shoulders up away from your ears so that they're in their sockets and then lift your arms up off the back side of the body. Bend your knees a little bit more if there's a lot of tension in the back side of the body. Let the weight roll slightly forwards into the balls of the feet so the heels are a bit light. As the weight shifts forwards into the balls of the feet, let your hips lift a little higher, your legs lengthen a little more. Rolling the shoulders into their sockets, breathing in. And as you exhale, lift those arms a little higher. Release your hands back to the mat, lengthen your spine, and walk the hands to meet your right foot turning into a lunge and step back into a downward facing dog and then right back into a child's pose. For child's pose, let this be a deep and juicy child's pose with your big toes together, your knees wider than your mat. Let the belly come between your thighs so that with each breath you can breathe into the belly. It has room and space to inflate. With each exhale, you can let your chest melt closer to the mat. Breathing into the back side of the body as well, feeling the rib cage inflate, open up the space between your ribs. And with each exhale, notice your hips settle. The forehead relax into the mat. Draw your body forwards onto your hands and knees, and then shift your weight into a seated position. We'll roll back onto our back side. As you lie down onto your back, ensure that your shoulder blades are rolled underneath of you so that they're flat onto the mat and that there's space between your ears and your shoulders. Draw the knees into the belly and drop them towards your right side. Let your left shoulder melt down into the mat. It doesn't need to touch, but if it does touch, let it relax even more. If it doesn't touch, consciously relax your chest and your belly. If you want a little, a little extra pressure, a little extra twist, your left hand can rest on your top leg and you can use that hand for a bit of leverage to put your, your body into a slightly deeper twist. You may even cross your top leg over your bottom leg to give you an even deeper twist. Listen to your body. There's no one perfect position that's the ideal pose for everyone. We're a little bit different. As you release this side of the twist, let both feet come to the mat flat and then swivel your knees from one side to the other like windshield wipers, using that to transition you to the other side. As you move into the twist on the other side, just notice if there's a difference from one side to the other without judging one side as being better or worse or more flexible or less flexible. Just notice maybe there's more tension here. Maybe there's a resistance in the body that there wasn't on the other side. Just bringing awareness in. Release your knees back to center and one more time plant your feet and swivel those hips, swivel those knees. Resetting through your low back, your waist. Step your feet in so that your heels come close to your buttocks. You might even be able to tickle your heels with your fingertips. Press down with both feet, squeeze the inner thighs towards one another as you lift your hips up towards the sky. Roll your shoulders underneath of you, let your chest lift, your rib cage lift, your belly lift, your hips lift. The tailbone draws into the body just a bit. As you prepare to come down, let the hips be the last thing that come. 
swivel the knees a couple times, or simply breathe here at center, noticing the effects that a deep back bend such as bridge pose has on your body, on your nervous system. And as we go into our second set, it's the same setup with our feet hip distance apart, the knees hugging towards one another. You can go to that exact same option we just did for a second time. Or if your body's feeling really open and you want to take this to the next level, you might even plant the hands beside your head, point the elbows back and in towards one another. Always lift to the top of your head first. Maintain that position for a few breaths, and if you feel strong, you might press a little taller. When you come back down, we reverse those steps. We come to the top of the head first, and then back to bridge, and then we slowly roll out. If wheel is a pose that you're just working on, always make sure you're nice and warm before you attempt it. Place the bottoms of your feet together. Let your knees drop out so you're making a diamond shape with your inner thighs, hands resting on your belly. Take a few breaths here. Breathing right into that energy center in the belly. When you're ready, go ahead and lengthen out so that your legs are a little wider than your hips and your toes turn out to the sides. Relax your head, shoulders, hips, and legs. Feel the whole weight of your body surrender into your mat. And your only job here is to find the breath, to follow it, and to let the rhythm soothe you to let the rhythm guide you and relax you. Namaste.